Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at when women get caught cheating, number three. But let's jump right in, after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. When you catch your girlfriend literally in the act. Oh, really, really. You're home. Oh, well, that's funny. Hey, you got, a, you got a twin? You got a twin, by the way? It looks like this guy is wasting his time on a girl that clearly has no respect for him. You guys like boyfriend and girlfriend by chance? Yeah. Do you guys trust each other? Yeah, 100%. Like, he yeah. me stuff all the time. Like, he bought me a car last week. I mean, that's why you trust him? Yeah. Do you trust her? I trust her 100%. Why do you think she's loyal? She's a beautiful girl. Look at her. Like, she's obviously loyal. Is it okay if you guys, like, swap phones and, like, see if you guys are, like, loyal? Yeah. Okay, so phones then. He has loads of phones. So phones. Do you see anything? Well, why are you messing with Archie? Who's Archie? Oh, Archie. What's best mate? Can I see the messages? Can I see them? Can I see them? No. Give me the phone back. No, I don't want to give me the phone back. Wait, can I see the message? Can I just see the message? Give me the phone. Why did you say no? No, I don't want to do that. Can I just see? Can I just see? Give me the phone back. Come in. Tracer, Tracer, Tracer. Keep recording. Keep recording. Keep recording. Keep recording. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you saying hey, babes? My best friend. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Give me your phone, man. No. Can I see? Can I see, please? Give me your phone, no. Man. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. No. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, yo, 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 stay back, stay back. Where's let's the see the. Pass, wait, wait, let's stay, stay back, stay back, stay back. Wait, stay back. Stay back, stay back. Hey, what? Wait, what's he saying? What's he saying? Leave him, I can treat you way better. Soon one day. Oh, what time we meet? Look at the text. Look at the text. Look at the text. What? Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. You want babes? Of course, baby. What? Nothing. What literally is it? Joe, it's what is it? What is it? Mom, why are you saying it's nothing? What is it? What is it? I'm gonna take you to Ibiza. I bought you a car. I paid for your rent. I helped your mum out. I paid your rent and you're cheating. Why in the world would she be texting his best friend? That is an obvious cheater. Are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend by chance? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, how long have you guys been going out for? For like five years. And uh, why are you with him? I'm still trying to figure out the answer to this question. <laughs> 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 For this video, is it alright if you guys like swap phones and like see if you guys are like loyal? Yeah. Swap our phones? Yeah. Look, I did not sign up for this. I'm sorry. Right. Come on. Wait, where are you going? Let's just swap. Hey, where are you going? Keep recording, keep recording, keep recording, keep recording. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? Show me your phone. Going? Show me your phone. I did not sign up for this. What do you mean you didn't sign up for this? I, I don't want to be honest with you. We're just doing this as a bit of fun. I don't want to be honest with you. Though. You're loyal, right? Are you loyal? Do I have to prove it to the people or to you? Well, to me and to the people. Why to the people though? This is very suspicious right now. I don't want to do this. Take a phone, take a phone. Unlock it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check the notification. Who's Daniel? I miss you, baby. When are you coming over? What? <laughs> he's my classmate. We're studying together. Call him up and ask him why you're speaking to your girl. Hey. Yo, Daniel. What, 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 why are you texting my girlfriend? Oh, what are you talking about, dude? You, you just said, I miss you. When are you coming over? I mean, yeah, but just so you know that, number one, she needed money, therefore, we agreed, we mutually agreed that for me to give her 200 pounds, there might be a little fun play in the sheets, if you know what I mean. Well, that's enough. This girl is so rude to her boyfriend, it's crazy. Hopefully they broke up after this. That moment you realize that your girlfriend is cheating on you. So my girlfriend moved into an apartment last month. And today she finally invited me over and I realized something really f today. So for the last couple of weeks, my girlfriend's been getting FaceTimes and texts from a guy saved under her phone as landscaper. So I asked her, I'm like, why the f the landscaper texting and calling you? Like that doesn't make any sense. And she told me that she just wanted to show her if he liked the way he could cut the grass. So stupid me believed all this horse and I'm walking here right now and I'm looking at the grass, right? And I'm like, wow, maybe, maybe he is doing a good job and he wants to brag about how good of a job he's doing. But then I realized, it's f***ing fake grass. The guy's not cutting grass. He's probably visiting her in her f***ing dorm. Bro is doing that detective work. Good stuff right here. So you pack your f***ing and you get the f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. Shoot, I'm just trying to sleep. Go. Get the f*** out of here. Go. Shoot, I'm just trying to sleep. You. You're the one that's a cheater. You know when that's a cheater. It's crazy how she only gets upset when she's caught. She has no remorse at all. Good for him. He found my OF page. 
And he's packing up his sleeve. Imagine hiding an entire OnlyFans page from your significant other. That's awful. And women out here wonder why there's a huge group of men that are done dating and done with relationships. Because that man is not impressed. He actually thinks that lady now is probably the most unattractive person in the room. And now he understands that women can be extremely disloyal, even right before she's about to marry a man. And over time, if he has enough of these experiences, he'll probably become one of those guys that um, don't want a relationship and just want to chill in peace. Clearly, this man was not impressed, and good for him. Hopefully, her boyfriend saw this one. This is some great advice right here. You got fake eyelashes, you got fake hair, you got fake hair. You got fake everything on your body, but you want a real Like, I worked hard for these results. I suffered. I went through the fire. Adversity builds character. I went through the fire for this. Hey, couldn't have said it better myself. Kevin Gates knows exactly what's up. To determine an overall baseline, okay? All right, man. I asked her if she'd ever stolen from your boyfriend. She said no. Test determined she was telling the truth. Ask her if she's ever lied to her boyfriend. She said no. Test determined that was a lie. Obviously. I asked her, have you had somebody other than your boyfriend in the last seven days? She said no. Test determined that was a lie. Oh my. The we hooked up yeah. yesterday. It wasn't even true. I'm telling you. Oh my god. You're my boyfriend and I love you. I asked her, have oh you had a with somebody else other than your boyfriend in the last seven days? She answered no. The test determined that was a lie. The last question that I asked her, I said, have you engaged in oral either giving or receiving with somebody else other than your boyfriend in the last seven days? She answered no. Kiss me after you put your mouth on this dude's Who the is this guy? Hey, they have a full-on detective court set up here. Nonetheless, good job on realizing she was cheating. But I dumped a girl. She was bad for me. Every time I brought this girl out, she was flirting with all my friends. Every time, she was just flirting. And I told her, I'm like, I don't think you should be flirting with my friends. It's weird. And she's like, oh, I'm just joking. You don't need to worry about it because they're just jokes. But then uh, she to one of my friends. And I'm like, I, I don't think you know how jokes work. <laughs> you're not supposed to do the thing you're joking about. <laughs> she had all the excuses in the book. She's like, oh, I have PTSD. And my PTSD makes me do crazy things sometimes. But that actually kind of makes sense. Because now that I think about it, this was a lot like the time my uncle came back from Iraq and uh, all my friends. <laughs> Good thing he recognized the red flags early on. This man is hilarious. If a girl never argues with you, is jealous of you, and doesn't send dramatic long text messages, you're with the man. <laughs> this man has me cackling. What's up, my guys? You gotta stop holding on to relationships just because you're scared to be alone. I've done it, we've all done it, but it gets you nowhere. We always talk about how toxic guys can be, but girls can be worse. If this is the state of your relationship, peace out, Girl Scout. You're waiting for her to change. You should never wait for someone to change. The only way someone can truly change is when they're on their own. The one thing we can't get back in life is time. So why are you wasting yours? Number two, you've made a pro and con list. Enough said. She wants you to change. Never compromise who you are for someone else. If she wants somebody that weighs 30 pounds less, likes baseball, and has an entirely different fashion sense, don't worry, there's someone out there for her. And there's a girl out there who will treasure you for you. Everything is your fault and never hers. You're waiting for things to go back to how they were in the beginning of the relationship. Are you gonna spend the rest of your life living in the past? You're not attracted to her, harsh, but it's reality. You can't convince yourself of something that just doesn't feel right. And you also can't reproduce. You feel like you're settling. You should be with a partner that you worship in every aspect. Their intelligence, looks, the way they treat you. If you settle for a partner, you're gonna settle for everything else in life. And lastly, there's a lack of trust. It's not something that'll disappear overnight. 
It's always great to see another woman who's in tune with recognizing toxic women and toxic signs. So while I tell you the story, I'm going to make a high protein peanut butter French toast. Next day I'm hanging out with her. She tells me she gave her friend Tony $100 to go to Whataburger and he never came back. So we got to go to Tony's. At Tony's, he starts smashing the door down like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Tony opens the door. Man looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin and he's shaking like a leaf. Olivia, here's your stuff. She grabbed him by the throat. If you ever do that again, I will effing you. I should have left at this point. So I asked her what was in the bag. She said diet pills, but these pills looked like glass. And whenever she went to the bathroom, it smelled like a Baytown refinery. We go to meet a friend of hers, Brad, in his condo. We walk inside his place. The walls were painted neon green and someone painted melting clocks everywhere. I should have left her immediately. So after her whispering in the corner with somebody and handing them a bag, we leave. As we leave, we pass a bunch of police. Brad eventually gets five years in prison. I got to end this relationship. So I have the tough conversation. She breaks down crying. Says she quit meth for three weeks after she met me. Then she tells me the reason she can't have a real job is because she spent two years in a state prison by the border for smuggling 40 pounds of marijuana. After three more months of insanity and almost losing my life with an ophthalmologist who used to do eye surgery while on meth, I finally got out. This is literally straight out of a horror movie. It's the reason you and your ex broke up. I posted a stupid thing on my Snapchat and he got mad. Because of Snap you guys broke up? Yeah. You were sad about that? Yeah. Who broke up with who? He broke up with me. Just for a Snap? Yeah. Well, like how stupid was it? Was it provocative? I made a joke that I had. Come on, man. He told me he's not feeling it. Well, that makes a lot of sense why he'd dump you. You know that I have three kids and I don't date that kid. If you date a guy with no kids, will you make him a baby daddy? No, I can't do that. No, whoever's with me has to accept my kids and then, like, they have to accept the fact that I won't have their kid. That's it. The delusion levels are off the charts with these ones. What's the reason you and your ex broke up? She was so mean to me and it was horrible. She was mean well, to I'm you. his ex. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the Amalfi Coast and on my birthday and she went like, I, you know what, let's break up. And I was like, fair. And now you guys are what, friends? Yeah, we went to Egypt together and now things are like kind of chill, I guess. Yeah, are you guys working back on getting it back together? No. <laughs> but like... We're friends. Oh, <laughs> No way he just sounded off on his ex right in front of her. Savage right here. What's the reason you and your ex broke up? I broke up with my ex because she didn't know how do I like my coffee. I like my coffee the same way I do like my girl. Without other people it, you know? It's an evil world we live in. Damn, never keep a girl who doesn't know your favorite coffee. Here's why you should dump your argumentative girlfriend. See, women have been led to believe that if they're combative, argumentative, that this is what will make a man respect them. And this is completely false. All this will do is make a man run away. And the only men that are going to accept this are men who don't have options with women. We love peace know. and harmony. We don't like drama. So when you're arguing to get respect from a man, you're actually pushing him away. And if he actually stays, this is a signal that he's a weak man. You want the best out of a man bring him peace watch how much he's willing to do for you watch how far he's willing to go for you if a man is accepting your argumentative behavior he's not a man that can do better and as a man you should not deal with women who are argumentative if you want respect from your man bring him more peace this is a surefire sign that it's time to dump her immediately so i'm 36 i've been dating a girl for the past four years i was getting ready to pop the question and something big happened I found out she was cheating on me. She said she was really sorry and that it was a mistake, that she loves me and that it's never gonna happen again. Any advice? But what I'll say to you is, in my experience, watching my clients, this is either the beginning of the end or it's the end of the beginning. Like he said, this could be a mistake, but how? So if we, if we hit a rough spot, you gonna go fix it outside the relationship. Yeah, man, I'll get another chick. Yeah. The sad truth is, if she had the guts to cheat once, she will definitely do it again. I don't give a f anybody says. If a girl is your girlfriend, she is your main woman, and she's advertising her body on the internet for other men to look at, that is f***ing cheating. Amen, my brother. Don't settle, boys. <laughs> Sure. Oh my 
go. It's not what it looks like, mate. It's not what it looks like. No, um, I think that's exactly what it looks like there, Megan. Yeah. Dang, imagine walking into your house only to see this. That's just heartbreaking. Your girl is probably cheating on you if she does this. Your girl is probably cheating on you if she's accusing you randomly of cheating. Guys, this is called projecting. When a woman feels guilty of her actions, she starts to project on you. You're like, why is she randomly asking me who I was with last night? Why is she randomly asking me to check my phone? It's because she feels guilty about something. Nine times out of 10, this is how human beings perform when they're trying to hide something. She's projecting the fact that she's cheated, so now she's assuming that you're cheating as well. If you notice your girl is just randomly accusing you of things and you haven't done anything differently, she's projecting and she's probably cheated on you, bro. Yes, if she's accusing you of cheating, she's probably cheating herself. Excuse me, bro. What are you doing, bro? We're smoking, bro. You good? Oh, now this is just your friend? I just called you Oh, wait, 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 I'm, we, I'm just bro. your friend? Nah, nah, what am I dead? You just bro. lost me. Bro, this is exactly why we here now, bro. You still doing this dumb What am I dead? You're dead. You're dead. You're I'm not here now, bro. This is the third, fourth this time, bro. I can't even tell what this time you was bombing, bro. And I still take you back, bro. Every she really cheated three times well as they say three strikes and you're out and finally we have this woman who ends up trying to hide her phone during this date probably because she was messaging other guys thankfully this guy stood his ground and left because he knew he was getting disrespected You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.